Today is July 10th and time has flown by. Um, I've been posting a lot and on YouTube and I took the summer off and decided to, uh, well, after about 12 years of traveling and working in the pipe, natural gas pipeline industry, um decided to spend a little bit more time working on things that happen here on the homestead and one of them is baling hay and i i love being involved in agriculture and um just had to do something about it staying home more and um i am getting a little older the first cutting of hay was great uh, we, that was back in uh, late May, early June, early June, first week of June. I think we built, I built some hay, put up about uh, a little over 750 bales, um, and uh, the mower held up great, and the baler held up great, and uh, we've been working on some more equipment and um, sold the hay. Uh, the barn space that I have uh, is only going to hold about a thousand and um, got to get ready for second cutting but I decided to do a little bit of straw I have people once in a while ask me if I have any straw so there was a farmer nearby and um, had a chance to ask that person if I could bail some straw buy it, the uh, material off of them if anybody wants to follow me, I'm on Instagram and I'm on Twitter and give me a shout and uh, don't forget to uh, hit the like button. You like this video and subscribe for, uh, you know, future videos, hit that uh, bell and it'll be notifying you because I'm going to have more videos coming up of repairing some equipment that I'm planning on using. and. Uh Okay, this is the draft that I made um, to get an idea before uh, the loader was built. And the cylinder here was at an angle that I had it not fully extended, but I knew approximately how far it was going to extend. So I went only 34 inches from right here to... Uh, the shaft but you got to include everything from pin to pin when you want to find your angles and how far this thing is going to go up this angle here will change dramatically from when it is down and then it comes up so i took this measurement here and squared it which is the set took this measurement here and squared it which is the run and then that answer, I second functioned, and then that answer, I tangent, and then I got the angle. And it came out at 12.96, which we'll just call that 13 degrees. And then I did the same thing up here. And finally, after figuring everything out from the ground up, I got 13 foot, 3 inches to this pan. And it's plenty high. For loading everything, you can't go over 13 foot 6 anyways, but the bottom of the bale is below 13 6, but the top of the bale, it's, I'm not 100% sure what it is, but it's, it's 12 foot to 13 foot tall. I'm pretty close to that with the bales. After figuring all the measurements, I had to custom made the tubing to extend the boom to get the length that I needed. All right, this is last summer. All the tubing's been made and welded to the boom and extended, and now I'm locking it in place so that the angle of the boom was 34 degrees.
time for hydraulics. This is the hydraulic valve that controls the cylinders and I plugged into the remote on the back of the tractor to activate fluid going into the valves. The hydraulic lines that go on the inside of the boom are made of grade B seamless pipe. Schedule 80. So I could thread it and the fittings are Parker's and the hoses are Parker also and the supplier was Garco Supply, Marion, Indiana. This is the highest I'm going to need to stack the hay. The Holsher 1000 stacks it sideways. So five high and 100 bales is what this wagon is going to hold. It's almost 16 feet long. <laughs> 